Tennis bad boy Nick Kyrgios refused to pile on retired women's football legend Megan Rapinoe for an old fan interaction while on Piers Morgan's show Nick Kyrgios refused to back Piers Morgan's assessment of USWNT legend Megan Rapinoe after the TV personality labeled her a spoilt, petulant brat. The tennis bad boy and Morgan were previously in agreement over Rapino, slamming what they called diabolical arrogance while the forward was signing a football for an adoring fan back in 2019. In a clip that ultimately went viral, Rapino didn't look at the boy and had very little interaction while signing the ball, which antagonized Morgan and Kyrios in August of this year. Kyrios has now remained neutral in his criticism while going head-to-head -head with Morgan on his hit show, Piers Morgan Uncensored. He said, yeah, look, again, I am not going to come on here and criticize athletes. I know that she's got millions of fans worldwide. At this moment in time, she may have been dealing with things and may be very dismissive. I am not going to sit here and say I've been amazing to every fan I've ever signed a tennis ball for, or anything for. But, every time it's a young kid, I do my best to try and look involved because I used to be that person when I was young. I had my idols and when they signed tennis balls for me, I was always super excited, so I know the relevance and the importance of being present in those moments. Kyrgios is one of tennis' most polarizing figures, with his showmanship and temper crossing the line on occasions. The Aussie hasn't however, managed to clinch a singles grand slam, losing his only final to date in 2022, at Wimbledon, to Novak Djokovic. A new side of the sometimes misunderstood Kyrgios was shown in the Netflix series Breakpoint. He had a mental health crisis, which he says he had help from another fellow tennis star, Andy Murray. Andy was always a big supporter of me, Kyrgios said. As soon as I came on the tour, he kind of saw a work in progress and took me under his wing. He saw it, the self-harm, and he said, what's that on your arm? It was pretty bad at that stage. I'd be in the locker room and people would be able to see my self-harm. So I could only imagine what people would think when they were actually versing me on the tennis court. They're like... Wow, this guy's mentally in a storm at the moment and he's still trying to play. I won tournaments on the professional tour, but was still, drinking every night, self-harming, burning things on my arm, cutting myself for fun. It became an addiction of pain. I hated myself. I hated waking up and being Nick Kyrgios.